a while back I was talking to a friend of mine and I said iron sharpens iron and right after I said it I went that's not right what does that actually mean because if you've got two knives two blades quality knives they don't sharpen one another in fact they can gouge and burr and actually make one another duller than they were before you can't sharpen knives with knives what it takes is a bit of a different animal it takes a sharpening steel this is different than the knife in that this has been tempered to a different level it's been tempered and carbon has been added and then it's been quenched in the absence of oxygen to give it a certain hardness it's brittle it's unbendable this is soft and can be honed and bent this is brittle and unyielding and it will break before it bends this is what is meant by iron sharpening iron a younger man in this case soft malleable bendable comes up against an elder one who has been through the trials and more fire one that's had the addition of experience in the form of carbon and one that has been uh, tempered with wisdom this is what sharpens another blade is a sharpening stone hmm no a sharpening steel because a sharpening steel will only sharpen iron will only sharpen iron if the blade has already an edge if the blade is dull this doesn't work it needs a stone it needs the tearing away it needs the pulling away of metal it needs to be honed in that way to put an edge back on it that can be sharpened again by the sharpening iron they make these magnetic to quote unquote catch the particles of metal that are being pulled away from the knife but this doesn't pull any metal off at all that's the stone so they give us a false sense of what's really going on here. This is straightening out those edges to recreate the sharpness that was already there. If it's dull, it needs a stone. Look at this from a spiritual perspective. You've got younger men that are being trained up, supposed to be trained up by older men, elders. Men that have the experience and the wisdom and the hardening and they won't get away from the Word of God they'd rather break than bend the Word of God and they shape and keep the younger men sharpened as they're trained up in the way they should go but if they are to get dull they have to go back under the law like in Matthew 18 where they're treated as if they're lost and the law is to break their heart put that edge back on them to where again they could be sharpened by the elders there's another aspect of this. This sharpening, honing steel can take a blade to a very sharp edge, but to get it to a razor's edge, it needs that strap. It needs that leather strap, that barber's strap. That strap is the Holy Spirit. That strap is what takes a sharp edge and refines it down to make it a razor. In a man's life, that's his wife. If he goes against it in the wrong direction, he can slice her to pieces. But if he goes with it and he allows the Holy Spirit to work through her in his life, he can have a razor's edge. Iron sharpens iron when it's the correct iron. If you've got a bunch of young 25-year-olds that are counseling with each other, you got a problem. And the same goes for if you've got a bunch of 65-year-olds counseling with one another. Same, same doesn't need to be together in counsel. You need something different, something wiser. And holy cow, when you get to that point where there's nobody older than you, hmm, 
I guess that's when we start reading the commentaries of dead men. Amen? Amen indeed. <laughs>